What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? I'm excited for this one. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 18 on the iPad 7th generation only using Palerain 18. Before this video starts, here's a few things to know. Palerain for iOS 18 only supports one device. The reason for this is because a bug named Checkmate is being used to make this work, and this bug is no longer present in any modern day devices. The iPad 7th generation is now the only Checkmate device left. And no, Palerain for iOS 18 will not work on any new iPhones or iPads. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure to use a USB-A to lightning cable to avoid any potential issues. Open up Safari and go to Palerain's website linked down below in the description to download it. Once there, look around a little bit. The Palerain team completely redesigned their website, so it looks great. Once you're ready to download it, click the download button. Then click on whatever platform you're using and then copy the terminal command. I'm using a Mac, so for me, it'll be Mac OS. Open up terminal, and then paste the command into terminal that you just copied. Press enter and then type in your password. Now we have the Palerain script installed and we're good to go. Next, connect your iPad to your computer using that USB-A to lightning cable. Tap trust if you get this pop-up on your iPad. Go ahead and open up a new terminal window and then from there type in Palerain. From here, choose either rootful or rootless. Rootless is recommended. For rootless, type palerain-l and hit return. From here, the device will enter recovery mode. Next, follow the steps to enter DFU mode. If you're not sure how to do that, Palerain walks you through it. Once your device is in DFU mode, the tool will automatically do the rest of the work. Nice little Checkmate boot logo there. And if we see this Palerain screen, we know that it worked. Congratulations. When the device boots up, you now have the only iOS 18 jailbreak for the next year and a half. In all seriousness though, let's finish out the rest of the process. Go ahead and open up the Palerain app to install Cilio and Zebra. In the options menu for Palerain, when you go to about, you can see that we are indeed on iPad OS 18.0. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install Cilio first. It doesn't really matter which one you install. And then from there, type in what you want your root password to be. The default is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. So I'm just gonna type that in. Now it's just gonna install Cilio and here we go. Here's Cilio. Now, if I wanna install Zebra, I can just go through that same process, let it install Zebra, and there you go. Here's Zebra and also here's Cilio. And it is wild to me that we do have a jailbreak on iOS 18. You don't have to have both installed, but it's pretty cool that you can install both if you want. Like with other versions of Palerain, Palerain 18 is a semi-tethered jailbreak. So if your device restarts, you'll have to go into jailbreak mode again for your jailbreak to work. Otherwise, until you do, apps will just keep crashing. And again, this is iOS 18 because you could see the require touch ID option is there. If we tap on that, it'll work almost like the jailbreak tweak used to. It says require touch ID for Cilio. This app will require touch ID or passcode to open. So now I'm gonna use touch ID and now it's locked until I use touch ID again. I can't believe that after years, finally that feature made its way to regular iOS. Because of some of the changes in iOS 18, tweak preferences now show up inside of settings general. But don't worry, they're still here and they still work. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That's how to jailbreak iPad OS 18 with Palerain. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Happy iOS 18 release day. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one guys, peace.